Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a functional system. We're given f of g of x equals 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 and f of x equals 2x minus 7 and we're going to be finding g of x from this equation. The only unknown pretty much. Now we've done a similar problem before but uh, that time uh, f of gx and gx were given. Obviously this is a whole different problem. And I'm going to be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first method. My first method basically involves writing f of g of x uh, to make it look like f of x. So what do I mean by that? Let me clarify. So f of g of x, you know, the composition of f and g, is given as 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I'm going to manipulate this expression. First of all, I can take out a 2 here. Let's go ahead and do that. But let's make sure we leave out the 1 because I'm going to manipulate that constant later. Now, remember, f of x is equal to 2x minus 7. So f is always like 2 times something minus 7. And this is f of something. So if I can make it uh, look the same way. So in other words, I want to get 2 times something minus 7 from here. I hope that makes sense. 2 times something minus 7. Great. So let's go ahead and try to get that. In order to get 2 times something minus 7, we can go ahead and this is f of g of x. This is f of g of x. I can write it as follows. First of all, I want to get a minus 7 from here. So let's go ahead and write the 1 as 8 minus 7, which is true, right? Let's check it out. 8 minus 7. Yeah, that's equal to 1. Great. So now I'm going to leave out the minus 7 and uh, put the 8 inside. So how can I get the 8 inside? I can write it as 2 times the quantity 2x squared minus x plus 4. There you go. Now when you distribute to 2, you're going to get 8 from there. Minus 7 is left outside. And guess what? Since f is 2 times something minus 7, and this is something, that's something what you, is g of x. So automatically, you get g of x from here. You can also look at it this way. f of g of x is going to be 2 times g of x minus 7, and so on and so forth. But the idea is g of x is 2x squared minus x plus 4. All right, great. That's the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. My second method, let me rewrite the problem. We have f of g of x equals 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we have f of x equals 2x minus 7. Since I'm given, since I'm given a definition for f, I can directly apply it here. So f of x is 2 times x minus 7. So if you have f of apple, this is going to be 2 times apple minus 7, right? Now what do we have instead of apple? We have g of x. So f of g of x, by definition, is going to be 2 times g of x minus 7. So this is what I meant with the first method. I'm trying to get my expression uh, to look like 2 times something minus 7, that something was g of x. Remember that? That's how we got g of x. Great. So 2 times g, g of x minus 7 is the same as f of g of x. And we know that f of g of x is equal to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So from here we can find g of x, can't we? Let's go ahead and add 7 to both sides. And we get that. And we can divide both sides by 2. And we're going to be getting g of x equals 2x squared minus x plus 4. And that's going to be the same solution we found with the first method. Obviously, they should be the same, right? Great. Now, let's kind of uh, check our work here. We can do the following. Since uh, we know f of g of x, and both methods are in similar in some ways because obviously we're kind of looking for the you know, missing function here, and there's going to be some similarities. But there are differences too. So we got this. So let's go ahead and evaluate f of g of x. What does f of g of x mean? It means that you're going to replace the g of x with what it is. g of x is 2x squared minus x plus 4. Now what is f of 2x squared minus x plus 4? 
Well, by definition, f x uh, will take the x and multiply by 2. So we're going to multiply this expression by 2 and subtract 7 from it. And that's going to give us 4x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus 7, which is equal to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. And as you know, that is the same thing as f of g of x. So our solution checks and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video until 10. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.